Kenny here with the Spellweaver .37 version update centered around server stability issues and a lot of graphical changes. Let's go ahead and take a look at them. Pass the bucket. So top priority of course is the server stability issues and they have not in fact figured that out uh, but it is not that bad. They're still working it. Uh, the What you'll notice is generally you'll drop in and out a little bit every now and then you get disconnected. I think it happened once last night during live stream. Not too big of a deal but definitely something that needs to be worked out. Uh, the biggest update that you'll notice right away is the menu change. Uh, main menu now brings up a nice main menu GUI, which was lacking before. And I can tell you right now, quit to desktop. Love this feature. Thank you for putting it in there. I don't have to right-click, alt-tab, and go out and close because I like to run on full screen anymore. Very welcome. And uh, it just looks nice. It just it just fits really, really well. Uh, okay, how do I get out of here? Close, yeah. They added that close button. <laughs> That's kind of necessary. Uh, there was a, the, if you follow the forums, there was a little bug down here where you could actually write text on the map down here that's been fixed and changed. If you had text here and did not delete it, uh, I believe you're stuck with it right now. More to follow on that, they'll probably fix it later. Um, let's see, what else do we got? We have some subtle changes, which I'll queue up a game in a minute and show you. Uh, things like precedence, and my NVIDIA GeForce driver is updating right now. Good timing, thanks NVIDIA. All right, now that the graphics driver has finished updating, we can finish the review. Uh, what you're going to notice is summon units leaving the field with a fade-out animation. Pretty subtle change. Uh, not something you may notice at first, but it's just a subtle fade-out animation for summon units. The background uh, battle graphics have been tweaked. I haven't really noticed what exactly they've tweaked. Uh, probably pretty subtle once again. There was a bonus key issue, not adding some decks. Some of you may have experienced that. I did not personally. And the favorites tab in the edit deck and in the collection screens was apparently fixed. I say apparently because, why don't we go ahead and try that out right now, I cannot get it to work. If you know how to get this to work, please let me know, post in the comments below. Uh, I really like Soldier's Memorial, so I'm gonna add this to my favorites. And I'm gonna go over to my favorites tab, and it is not there. Now, I could be dumb and doing something wrong, that's highly possible. But, from my understanding, it shouldn't be much more difficult than clicking the add to favorites and going to favorites. If I'm doing something wrong, again, let me know. So with that, uh, I'm going to go ahead and queue up a game, and I'll try to point out some of the subtle uh, changes in effects and show you a hidden update that wasn't mentioned in the patch notes. All right, so the biggest graphical issue or graphical change you're going to notice um, is the shrines. All your shrine cards now have a new animation, and as you click it, you remember you used to have a text box that came up and said you want one level or you want a man in a cart. Well, now you get this. Oh, nice, huh? Jury's out. A lot of people are saying they don't like this. They say it's too slow for animations and things like that. I like the new change. Uh, however, the animation itself is a little too slow, in my opinion. It could, it could be a little bit faster. Uh, for example, we'll show that one more time. I think it could be just a tad faster, and uh, I like this. It's a, it's a nice touch. So that's the big change. Uh, everything else that you're going to see is really just minor things, such as... Um, Summon creatures have a slight fade effect when they leave the battlefield. It's really subtle, and that's really all I've noticed so far, uh, but I'm sure there's a lot of other, other polishing under the hood that we haven't seen. With that, there's one other change, and that was not mentioned in the... Uh, one other change that I'm aware of, and it wasn't mentioned in the patch notes. I'm having issues with clicking this. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Looks like server stability issues. So with that, we're going to go ahead and uh, wrap up this video. The only other issue is order of precedence. Things like the Blood Witch Harpy used to be able to key off of Restless Tombs when your zombie was summoned. Now she asks for a level 1 creature before Restless Tombs activates that zombie, so you can't use that mechanic anymore. Uh, I have not confirmed this yet, but that's what's being reported. So thanks for the update. Thanks for watching. If I missed anything else, uh, post in the comments below, and I'll see you on the boards. Ready.